we needed uh, patience. We needed a lot of patience to take the photographs. For example, in uh, the challenging point was that everybody saw uh, pictures before of the churches and all the visitors come and they come and see the same uh, huge sea of benches covering the church and I wanted to show this in a different way. I wanted to show it as the architect originally built it. Several centuries ago, there were no benches and people were sitting on the floor praying and this is how I wanted to show the beautiful architect. So we had to remove all these benches from a couple of churches to show how the walls were originally and how he, the architect intended people to see them and they looked very different, uh, amazingly different. We discovered underneath the carpets and the benches many uh, objects, many things covered always, holes in the floor placed for people to wash their feet at the end of the church, maybe small tunnels, even we entered those tunnels but uh, they, they lead nowhere, just to another part of the church. So it was full of uh, surprises to do this uh, book without benches. One of my favorite memories of this book is the altar of St. George. Everybody said this church has nothing. Don't bother entering. Even the antiquity inspectors told me the same. There is nothing inside. Scientists said there is nothing inside. So I entered, I asked the priest, and he hesitated to give me a permit to enter, and he checked who am I, and my background, and my family, and everything. Then finally he allowed me in, and there was a surprise. This church burned, burned maybe 50 years ago, or 60 years ago. This is why the area is known as St. George. And Everybody thought everybody burned out and there is nothing left except some icons somewhere they are renovating, fixing them. But uh, the surprise was the old altar is still there and nobody knows it exists. The priest took care of it and they protected it and they are covering it somewhere. And he, he opened the door and uh, I found myself facing an antique that nobody knows it exists. So this is a very dear uh, picture. This is a very good uh, book because it includes the Jewish and Christian and Islamic uh, in chronicle order in, uh, in one book. It shows how the architecture of the churches without the benches looks very similar to the mosques. And it's all in Egypt. It's, uh, it's all made in Egypt.